Good evening. Okay, it is eight o'clock. We are going to start. Well, let me see. Well, we are going to start with unit two today. We are going to have um, this main goal that I would like uh, to achieve with all of you. And this is that we're going to start talking about the industry vocabulary and also um, uh, to talk about the company's expert expertise, industrial classifications, and where it operates. This is basically what we are going to start this in this class, right? Okay, Wilfredo, no problem. So I have uh, an activity, the first activity that um, it is related to what you see. I'm going to give you just uh, two seconds for you to see the following slide. And I want you to keep in your mind the images that you see in that slide, only two seconds. Let me see. It goes. Sin escribir nada, right? Now, another two more seconds. The third time and the last time. Two more seconds. No escriban nada. Okay. R type in the chat box all that you kept in your mind. Okay. Type in the chat box what you have in your mind.
Yes, Osvaldo, pero which ones? Which ones do you have in your mind? Only Jennifer, Moses. And what about the others? Hello, teacher. The, Hello. The, the company, the, the shoes is the the, the mark in Nike. Yeah. Okay. Very, very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just posted it there, but I don't know what you have kept in your mind. Let's see, Osvaldo, it says Nike also, right? Right, you Moses, you say shoes in in a general, right? But you didn't mention, and Jennifer that mentions like three, but what about the others? Y los demás, de qué se acuerdan? O no vieron nada? No vieron nada? Oh my God, I'm going to give you two more, two more seconds. Okay, vamos. How good are you at memory? One, two. Valga la propaganda que le estoy dando a todos. <laughs> ok. Ok. I have included these pictures because since we are going to talk about the industry vocabulary and also about the company's expertise and also the industrial classifications, we need to see different um, ways in which different components are, um, <clears throat> are managing their... Uh, they were right. Excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> so after having this a memory game, now you are going to see and you are going to understand different things. I have this word that is a seminar, and uh, I want you to understand uh, this concept because maybe from the company that you are working, in which you are working, maybe uh, from time to time, you have had some seminars or haven't you? Have you had seminars in your company? Yes? No? No. Never? Never. No, never. Never. Okay. So we are going to see uh, what is the 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 reason for them uh, not to uh, take you to a seminar. Okay. But we have here like the concept of a, center, a seminar in a general way. And uh, I would like to listen to Gilberto Lasso Funes. Gilberto, are you here? Hello, teacher. Hello, Gilberto. Can you help me reading this, please? A uh, seminar is yes. a form of academic instruction. A term of um, academic instruction or offer be a commercial 
for professional organization. organization. It has the function of being big over small groups for recurring meetings. Focus is tied on some subjects in was every every <laughs> present is prepared to participate. Thank you, Gilberto. Okay, now you listen to me, and now we are going to check pronunciation, right? From this short paragraph uh, that is related to the definition of what seminar is. It said that the seminar is a form of academic instruction. Either okay, either at an academic institution or offered by a commercial or professional organization. It has a function of bringing together small groups for recurring meetings, focusing each time on some subject in which everyone present is requested to participate. So it says, it is a form of academic instruction because it is supposed that when we have some seminars, they are going to share information that is going to be very useful, not only for the ones uh, for the supervisors, but also uh, most of the time, the information, it is going to be very useful for the rest of the employees, right? So if we haven't attended, attended any seminars, well, at least we know what is that. Then we have the second part. The second part of this definition is this one. And I would like to listen to a lady. In this case, it is a lady. Let us listen to Valeria Michel. Hi. Hi. Okay. Seminars are typically designed to be more interactive with attendees in code. Um, I don't know what Continue. you say. Continue. Later, I'm going to emphasize. Okay. With attendees encourage to ask questions, participate in discussions, and engage, engage in hands of activities. Conference, on the other hand, often have a more passive audience with attendees primarily listening to speakers and taking notes. Okay, thank you very much. So we have the second part and I'm going to read for you to listen to the pronunciation and later we are going to practice a little bit more. What we have here, the second part says, for example, it says seminars are typically designed to be more interactive, interactive with attendees encouraged to ask questions, participate in discussions, and engage 
in hands-on activities. Conferences, on the other hand, often have a more passive audience with attendees primarily listening to the speakers and taking notes. What is this? So we have two different concepts in this moment. We have seminar and we have conferences. What is the difference between a seminar and a conference? Have you ever attended a conference? The, the interactive? Not conference, yes. are passive. The, uh, yes, a uh, passive is uh, the seminar is interactive. Yes. Okay. Seminar, it is interactive where you can ask questions, when you participate in discussions, but not in conferences. Conference, it is passive. You just listen and take notes. That is the only thing for conferences. Have you ever attended a conference? No, either. Tampoco han asistido a ninguna conferencia? Yes, I am the, the conference. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you have attended a conference. Okay, but it is important for you to understand the difference. Okay, between seminar and conferences. We have vocabulary from the book that we are going to practice. For example, if we are talking about our companies, you are going to listen the vocabulary headquarters and branch, headquarters and branch. What are headquarters? In what are branches if they are in plural? But this is uh, here, I have it in singular and this one we have it in plural. So headquarters and branch. We're going to make them equal. So we're going to say branches. This is the definition for headquarters, and this is the definition for branch. What is a headquarter? The place where a company or organization had, had its main office. Okay. It means offices. My offices. question. Okay. My question is: Where are you working? Are you working in a headquarters or are you working in a branch? I had work headquarters. Where are you working? In a headquarters or a branch? In the my brand. case, headquarters. Okay, in your case, you are working in a headquarters. Yes. What yes. about the other ones? I'm working too in a, in a headquarters. Okay, headquarters. And what about the others? Are you working in branches? In a branch, are you in a particular area or are you in the main offices that is called the headquarters? What are you working? Okay, more vocabulary. We have more vocabulary. Okay, we are going back.
Okay. And now you tell me, please, tell me which are the difficult words to pronounce for you. From this paragraph, which are the difficult words to pronounce? Of, offer, offer. Let's see. Where is it? And okay, the okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Another one? Re request. Re okay. Okay, there is another one. More? Recurring. Uh -huh. Brian. <coughs> More? More? Only that. Okay, Ben, the way that we are going to read it. How many sentences do we have in this paragraph? Quantas sentences I in this paragraph? How many five. Two. Do we five. Have? Okay. ¿Cuáles son las oraciones? Ajá. The well, first a seminar uh -huh. is a front of academy institution. Ajá. Second, next. Classman. No. One complete sentence termina hasta donde encuentro un punto. The first how, one. How many sentences do I have? Two. Two. Only two? Two. Two. Yes. Two. Okay. Two. I have only two sentences in this paragraph. So, oops, I, I erased this one. So, I'm going to try to read the first sentence and then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to read the second one. Of course, I'm going to respect commas, right? But there are only two ideas in here. Now pay attention about the way that I pronounce because later you are going to read them. Okay. A seminar is a form of academic instruction either at an academic institution or offered by a commercial or professional organization. It has the function of bringing together small groups for recurring meetings focusing each time on some subject in which everyone present is requested to participate. Two sentences. Y hasta el primer punto tengo que parar. Of course, no voy a leer así. A seminar is a form of academic instruction either an academic institution offer or... No. Reading fast doesn't mean that you are well reading. Reading fast as the way that I have already done it means that you are very anxious because you don't know how to read it. And what you want to do is to 
uh, complicate the listening exercise for the other ones because the other person it is not going to understand, right? So that's why we need to read pause, but not that slow. It needs to sound something natural, right? I'm going to read it again, and now I'm going to, and then you are going to read it later. A seminar is a form of academic instruction, either at an academic institution or offered by a commercial or professional organization. It has the function of bringing together small groups for recurring meetings, focusing each time on some subject in which everyone present is requested to participate. Do you see? Pronunciation. Either offered, commercial, bringing, recurring, focusing, requested. Alguien que lea todas las que están encerradas, por favor. I okay. either mm -hmm. offered commercial bringing recurring focusing request did requested 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 okay thank you very much any other volunteer No more volunteers? Okay, Jose Roberto, thank you. Jose Roberto? Uh, sorry, the, the, the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, either's offer. Either, either, either sin ese, okay? Okay, either offer. Commercial, bringing, recurring, focus, focusing, and focusing, and requested. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now. Oh, yes. If you have, if you know the meaning of them or not, well, that's another story, but you have already pronounced them. Now we have the second one. Now, can you tell me, or if you can circle there, which are the difficult words for you? In coverage. Another one? Engage. Primary. Okay. Only? What about this one? Okay, I'm going to read. How many sentences do I have? How many sentences do I have? Two sentences. Two sentences. I have only two, okay? So I'm going to say, seminars are typically designed 
to be more interactive with attendees encouraged to ask questions, participate in discussions, and engage in hands-on activities. Conferences, on the other hand, often have a more passive audience with attendees primarily listening to speakers and taking notes. Typically, typically, encouraged, encouraged, engage, engage, activities, activities. This was the, the period. Discussions, attendees, and primarily, primarily, typically, primarily, typically, okay? Now, I would like to listen to Rene Alexi. Rene? Hello, teacher. Can you read this paragraph, please? Alexi? Can you read? Puede leer? Un poco. Veamos. Todas las que están encerradas. Todo. Stupid cool. No, todo, todo, todo. Ah. El párrafo completo. Yes. Say me are to be cool, the singer to be more interactive, wait, attended, encourage it to add question, participate in this, in this session and Me cuesta un poco, teacher. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. But you need to practice. Right? We need to practice. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let us listen to Kenya and Stephanie Fuentes. <clears throat> Seminars are typically designed to be more interactive, with attendees encouraged to ask questions, participate in discussion, and engage in hands-on activities. Conferences, on the other hand, often have a more passive audience, with attendees primarily listening to the speaker and taking notes. Okay, thank you very much. Audience. 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 Okay? Audience. Audience. Okay. Now, with this vocabulary, we are going to continue because we need to understand the next exercise. That is this conversation. With this conversation, we are going to include vocabulary that we have just practiced. But also it is for you to understand the vocabulary that we have included. For example, we are going to have this word, manufacture, manufactured. And also here we have branches, right? We have branches and we have the headquarters. Did you understand uh, finally uh, what is the meaning of headquarters and also what is the meaning for uh, branches? Yes. Yeah, what, is, what is the meaning for headquarters and what is the meaning for branches?
What is the meaning? The meaning or traduction? Yes, mm. translation. Translation. Okay. Branches is sucursales. Ajá. Uh -huh. Headquarters es como la sede. Okay. La sede o la casa matriz. Okay. That is what we know that we can understand by headquarters. Okay. Headquarters. Okay. But now that we have the conversation, vean el vocabulario que esta tiene. And it is between two integrants. Right? Listen, listen, and later you are going to reproduce. Okay? It says, this conversation is in your book and that is on page number 19. Page 19. My name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jack. I work for INEX Inc. What does INEX Inc. do, Jack? Mm, we manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does INEX have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They're in Panama. They're in Panama. Okay? You see here the vocabulary that we are using? What does INEX in do, Jack? In the... Aquí, we have the second one. Does INEX have many branches? And then you answer, you can have. You can give short answers or you can uh, uh, give extended answers, right? In this case, it is a combination of both because it says, yes, it does. And then continue giving more information. We have three <clears throat> manufacturing branches in the country. Okay. Teacher, what's the meaning cardboard? Cardboard, the material from which boxes are made. Okay. Okay. That is the material. I don't have any okay. cardboard box here. Right. But uh, for example, uh, the pizzas, pizzas, yes. Carton. the packaging, the packaging box. It is made of cardboard. Yes. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay. So, see the structure of the conversation. ¿Qué hay al inicio de esta conversación? Aquí. ¿Qué hay? Un saludo. Okay. Okay. You introduce yourself, right? Okay. That is what we have here. The introduction. Then, empiezo a preguntar más about the company. And then, the first question that I do is, hey, what does, y esta es la empresa, the company. What does, cualquier compañía, y la persona a quien le está preguntando, what does INEX uh, Inc. do, Jack? And then I see another question. Does INEX have many branches? I have two questions. La primera es con WH question y la segunda es yes, no question. Por lo tanto, la respuesta aquí ha sido corta y le dice yes, it does, pero... Sigue expandiendo the answer. And then it says, we have three manufacturing branches in the country. Right? And uh, finally, 
termina con la pregunta de in where are the headquarters? Hacia dónde? Okay, me puedo dirigir if I want to know the headquarters. Well, they say they're in Panama. Oh my God, they are not here. They are not in the country. They are in another country. Y ahora que ya se fijaron, ¿cómo va la conversación? Ahora ustedes van a escribir la suya propia. Using the vocabulary que tenemos aquí, o si usted quiere incluir alguno más, pues lo incluye. Do you understand? Van a sustituir, por ejemplo, si Rick representa ser Kerin en Jack, representa ser Remberto, lo que van a hacer es sustituir cada una de sus participaciones con respuestas ciertas y que gramaticalmente vayan dentro de ese espacio. Do we understand? Yes? Yes. Okay. So that is what you are going to do in this moment. We are working on page 19. Algunos grupos van a quedar de tres o cuatro. Ustedes pueden decir quiénes van juntos ahí, right? Okay. You have five minutes to work on this.
Ah, ok. Entonces pongámosle, ajá, justamente eso. I work for, for series. Sí. O, o en G. Ajá. Ajá, ajá. Sí, porque eh, queda así como de querer saber si es una compañía o una empresa, entonces ahí ya queda más claro. ¿verdad? Ok, vamos al siguiente, voy yo. Uh -huh. Sería, what does um, C R S O O N G Sería, what does do? No, what does eh, las iniciales do uh -huh. Moisés, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, okay. Eh, um, we, pues sería, ¿cómo yo quiero decir? We, nos ejecutamos proyectos o desarrollamos. We have, we have uh, the developing, creo que se escribe desarrollar. Developing a project o plans. Yes, uh, ¿Sobre uh, qué? Uh, Um, the, um, bueno, en mi caso es de agricultura, pero uh, hay, hay de otro tipo de social um, para jóvenes. Um, digamos que son um, varios tipos de proyectos, pero, pero uh -huh. podemos enfocarnos quizás solo en, el, en la de pero, agricultura. Ajá, para no, porque sí tiene varios. Eh, Hola, Elsa. What are you doing here? Tiene el micrófono apagado, corazón. Pero es que yo la mandé a otra sala. Sí, estaba en las cinco, pero se me acabó el teléfono y me sacó. Ok, es que estaba con alguien más que no estaba trabajando. O estaba trabajando con Alfredo. Alfredo Alcántara. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, pues ahorita la mando para allá. ¿Ya terminaron acá, chicos? Hello, teacher. Hello, ¿ya terminaron? Sí. Ok, fíjese que yo, el problema, yo he estado hablando y estoy con un micrófono conectado y hay veces le he hablado y no me contestan. Entonces, mi miedo era que no me contestaran porque no se escucharon. Ok, no, pero yo bien? sí lo escucho, sí, sí lo escucho. Ok, ok, ok. okay. Creo que don Wilmer, va, don Wilmer va manejando. Ok, ¿y René? Sí. I don't know. Ok, you don't know. Entonces solamente usted está entonces activo. Acá. Es correcto. Ahorita, ahorita estoy con, le leo lo que llevo. My name is, uh, te voy a dejar a Rick, porque como no tengo intención, my name is uh, Rick, nice to meet you. Ahí Jack pasó a ser uh, mi persona. Ok. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I, am, I work for Monflow Inc. Así se llama Monflow. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Uh, luego Rick, Rick me dice, what does Monflow Inc. Uh, Inc. do you, Jack? Bueno, sería Kerry. Ajá. Uh -huh. en, 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 en eso voy apenas. Ah, okay. Okay. ok, ok. Continue working. Ok. Thank you. Ok.
Y we make. We make. Sí. We make. We make. We make. Ajá, sí, we make. Animal food. Animal food. Animal. For example. Comida para animales. Para animales, ajá. For example. Samples. For dogs. Food no. for dogs. Para perro. Cat. Gato. Gato. Ajá. Cat. Peces. También. Tilapia. Fish. Fish. Ajá. Ajá. Fish. No, creo que sería. Fish. Fishes. Fishes. Ajá. Peces. Fishes. En. Aves. ¿Cómo se dice aves? Birds. B-I-R-D, creo. B-I-S. Birds. Birds. Ok, chicos, para, para peces se dice solamente fish. Ah, fish. Ok. Ese <risa> es para singular y plural. Fish. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí. Thank you. Ok. Teacher, ya estoy de regreso. ¿Quién está de regreso? Jessica Díaz. ¿Y con quién estaba usted? Ah, el Cita estaba aquí en el grupo. Pero Elsa solo estaba con dos, con, con, con un compañero. Mm, pero, no sé, por aquí la vi. Y luego usted la pasó para el otro grupo. Mm. Es que ella está trabajando con Alfredo Alcántara. Ah, oh, pues no sé, teacher. Uh -huh. Por eso no, no, no sé. Uh -huh. Bueno, me voy a esperar. Ok, espérese porque ya van a regresar. Ya okay. casi termina. Ok. ¿Terminaron acá? Hello, ¿terminaron? ¿O no han trabajado? Be ready, be ready that we are coming back. Okay, be ready, please. Ready, teacher. Okay, I'm closing the rooms. They are coming back.
Okay, you have now the conversation there and I would like to listen to the changes that you have made to it. Okay? Okay. Volunteers. Thank you, Osvaldo. Okay, my name is Oswaldo. Nice to meet you. Nice Perfect. to meet you too. I am Adilson. I work at Export Salva. Uh, que no era con, con el, ah, el integrante. <risa> hey, de verdad, ¿cómo era? Como no se eso, ven, ok, you better. Lo, lo, importante, lo importante es que Adilson está activo, solo bueno. <risa> ok. <risa> Escucha. Osvaldo. Como nadie te contestó por eso. Eh, eso, eh, se eso se llama empatía. Eso se llama empatía, Adilson. Ok, good, ok, good. Empatía. Ya. Yeah. Ok, entonces Osvaldo, ¿con Roberto quién te va a trabajar? Conmigo. Ok, con, con Roberto. Roberto y Kenia. Ok. Good. Go ahead. My name is Osvaldo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Roberto. I work for EOR. What does EOR do, Roberto? Um, is there a responsibility? for regulating the electricity market in Central America. Oh, I see. Does air have many branches? No, it doesn't. And where are the headquarters? We are in El Salvador. Okay, very good. Okay, okay now another volunteer. Ok, José Roberto, ¿Sí? dígame quién es el siguiente. Um, voy a buscar el primero que me salga. Uh, Jennifer. Ok, Jennifer. Ok. <risa> voy con Moisés. Okay. <risa> claro. <risa> ok. <risa> ok. Ready. Ok, vamos. Ready, ok. My name is Jennifer Evora. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, uh, Jennifer. I am Moses. I work for CRS ONG. What does CRS ONG do, Moises? Uh, uh, we develop project agriculture and program social and young groups. Oh, it's interesting. Um, does CRS ONG how many branches? Yes, it is. We have many branches in the world. And where are the headquarters? Uh, they are in the United States. Oh, interesting. So great. <laughs> Thank very you. Very good. Very good. Finish. Very good. Thank you, Jennifer and Moses. Okay, Jennifer, who's next? Um, voy a ver quién me sale. Um, Remberto. Okay, Remberto. Okay, okay. My group is with Valerie and Adilson and Valerie. Um, are you ready, Valerie? She's not. Valeria. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 yes. okay, excellent, excellent. My name is Remberto. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Valeria. I work for Mayora and Mayora. What does Mayora and Mayora do, Valerie? We bring in legal service. Oh, I see. Does Mayora and Mayora have many branches? Yes, it does. We have three legal service branches in the countries. In the and three different are, countries. 
Excellent. And we are the headquarters. They are in Guatemala. Excellent. Hey, very good. Very good, guys. And uh, Rimberto, who's next? Um, Jessica. Okay, Jessica. <laughs> okay. Well, Hay dos, dice Jessica Araceli, Jessica Carolina. Oh, ah, pues entonces sería Jessica, perdón, perdón, Jessica Carolina. Eh, yes. Va conmigo Eric. Okay, hermana. thank you. Mi hermana se caía y me daba la cabeza a mí. Algo. Okay. My name is Eric. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you too. I'm Jessica. I work for Avicola Salazar Inc. What does Avicola? Do Jessica. We make animal food. For example, for dog, for dog, for cat, for fish, uh, and and birds. Oh, see. Does Abicola Salazar have many branches? No, it doesn't. We have only the headquarters. Um, where is the headquarters? They're in Metapan, El Salvador. Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. And the last volunteers are, Jessica, ¿quiénes son los últimos? Elsa. Okay, Elsa. Where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay. <laughs> um, Who did you work with? Is Alfredo. Okay, Alfredo. ¿Estás segura que trabajó con Alfredo? Sí. Porque desapareció. Se ha cortado, por acá estoy, por acá okay. estoy. <laughs> ok. ¿Estás listo? Ok. Ok. Vamos, Alfredo. Perdón, que me, me distraje un momento que tuve una llamada del trabajo, pero entiendo ahorita que tengo que continuar el ejercicio que hice con la compañera, ¿verdad? Sí. Así es. Ok. okay voy a comenzar. ¿Me recuerda su nombre, Elsa. compañero? Oh, bueno, la escucho, la escucho. My name is Elsa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I Alfredo, I work for Cable Color Inc. What does Cable Color Inc do, Alfredo? We supply service for internet for consumer. Oh, I see. Does Cable Color have many branches? Yes, um, I do. We have 12 agency in the country. And what are the headquarters? Um, they're in Honduras. Okay. okay, and I thought and I thought they were from El Salvador. 
but they are not from here, so. Okay, thank you very much, Elsa, and your classmate also, okay? Very good job, I like it, because now you have shared information about the company where you work. And now we are going to uh, continue with more vocabulary related to the, um, how can I say, this, to the industry type that your company works for, right? We have this exercise in which you have, for example, on your left, you have the um, name of, uh, or the relation that we understand that um, the place where we are working, for example, in a general way, uh, we have like banks of drinks, guided tours, cardboard boxes, buildings, mobile, mobile phones, medicine, car components, hair, salon services, and clothes. But on the, la on the right side, we have uh, the type of industry that that is related to. And that is what we are going to complete in this moment. We have this exercise in your page 20 in your book, right? So you look for the page 20 and you are going to work with your classmates, right? Now, let us see which are the different uh, industry types that we can find out here. Right? Let's see. I'm going to recreate, talk to them. Uh, since I have a lot of listeners, uh, many people are working like alone. I'm going to recreate the teams. We have just two minutes for you to complete this exercise, okay? Go. <coughs> Incomplete it, please. La uno ya está. Para mí que la, la tres, number three, it's letter A. Letter A. ¿Qué le encontró José Roberto? Sí, ahorita acabo de, de, de meterme ya, yo tengo la página. Ah, vale, está bien. Uh -huh. La D sería la... La caja de cartón sería... 
Hockey, la G. Vacation industry. Ah, letter G. The letter G. Ajá. Permita, me confundí. La, let, la cuatro, las cajas de, de cartón. ¿De cartón? La G, de cartón. La G. The vacation industry. Ah. De vacation. La G. Si quieren, eh, revisamos una por una y si hay algún cambio, nos lo dicen y la arreglo. Cabal, cabal, cabal. Uh -huh. Vaya, vale, digamos, la dos que es refrescos, me pusieron en, en la H, ¿verdad? Está bien. El, la 3 en la I, ¿verdad? Sí. La 4 la 4 en la G la 5 en la B la 6 en la D la 7 en la J la 8 en la F la 9 en la A y la 10 en la cual? En la C, ¿verdad? En la C. Entonces sí está bien. Y solo eso era entonces. Tomo una captura en la mano. Sí, ya le tomé aquí. Ah, vale. Okay, now we're coming back and now we are going to check which are the answers that you have for this. The ones that you matched are related to the type of in industry that we have. Remember that now we have uh, uh, classified the different types of industry such as the beauty and personal care industry, construction industry, the textile industry, telecommunications industry, the finance industry, automotive industry, packaging industry, beverage industry, tourism industry, and pharmaceutical industry. Different ones that maybe we can have more, but this is like in a general way, uh, the different types of industries that we might be working in, right? 
But later we are going to work with a very specific type of industry uh, of your companies. But in this moment, let us um, make the match for you to have complete this exercise, right? <clears throat> now, yes. uh, banks, to which industry do you think it goes? Letter E. Letter E. Okay, the one that is done. Number two. Soft drinks. The beverage industry. The beverage industry. Okay, let us, let us say the name of the industry. Can you tell me the name of the industry? The, the beverage, the beverage industry. industry. Okay, so it means that we are going to go here, the beverage industry. What about the guided tours? The tourist industry. Yeah. Okay. Cardboard boxes. The vacation the industry. Packaging. Letter G. Packaging. Packaging. Packaging industry. Packaging industry. Okay. Buildings. The construction, the construction industry. industry. Construction. Okay. Letter B. Tell me the industry, right? The mobile phones. The teco telecommunication industry. Okay. Yes, it's letter B. Medicine. The pharmaceutical. The pharmaceutical industry. Okay. Car components. Car component. The automobile industry. industry. Automotive, automotive industry. Ah, no, automotive industry. Automotive industry. Hair salon services. The beauty, the beauty, beautiful and personal, the beauty care personal care industry. Okay, the beauty, the beauty and personal care. And finally, we got the, the last one that is clothes. What is this? The, the textile, the, the textile industry. The textile. Okay. The textile, the textile industry. Textile. And this mess, toda esta maraña that we have here, has to be like this. Okay. Now, these are your answers, right? This is why you were working in your different teams. So we got here the perfect match for every single um, uh, company, right? And now you have to think about what type of industry is your company related to? Think about your company. No. And now that you think about your company, we are going to do something like this. We are going to write sentences similar to this. This is the first example. Since you know the, the name of your uh, company, this is the name. You are going to start saying, at Refresh and Live, we, because you belong to that company, we distribute soft drinks. Este verbo tiene que ir relacionado a lo que hace the company, right? So in this case, it is related to distribution. So we say, we distribute soft drinks. 
y luego me lo va a relacionar al tipo de industria. If you distribute soft drinks, significa que we are in the beverage industry. Do you see? Do you see the way that we are going to do it? And then we have here, fix and care. Enjoy and travel. Business bank. The sun resort. We have one, two, three, and four. Four more que ustedes van a poner el ejemplo tal cual está aquí. So, these are the companies. You need to complete the exercises. Pero además de terminar y complementar esto, you have to write down your own sentence with your company. Como ya las mencionaron, allá en la conversación, ya saben a qué empresa o qué compañía es la que van a poner y van a hacer una oración, dos oraciones, con una misma idea. ¿Do you understand now? Primero, we finish this exercise. Y después de haber terminado esto, usted va a seguir con las empresas de sus compañeros. Si son cinco, pues cinco descripciones más. Si solo son cuatro, pues cuatro uh, uh, descripciones de la industry más. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Of course, that is where you have to say, of course. Okay, so let us go and work. Pero ya no van a quedar con sus mismos compañeros again. You are going to work with different. Let me see. Okay. Hoy funcionó mejor haciéndolos más grandes por los oyentes. Así no nos afecta. Okay, guys. We're going to have five more minutes for you to work with your classmates and complete this. This is in the same page. That is page 19. Let us go and work. Oops. <coughs> not assigned. Okay.
como, como se dice dientes. ¿Eh? Sería... Eh... A ver, pasame un bolígrafo que está ahí, por favor, sobre la impresora. Vamos, ah, no, ahí está. ¿Qué está? De su momento, ¿no crees? Ok, eh, si fuera ese podría ser a fix and care. Eh, dental care. Quiero verlo. Ya le digo. No hay que perder. We dental care. Y de ahí diríamos we are a, a dentist. Sí, sí. We dental. Ahorita se lo, lo, lo va a escribir en el chat. La segunda están haciendo ahorita. Sí. Que dice preparar, reparar y cuidar. Sí, correcto. Business part. Business part. Esa sería the, 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 finance, the finance industry. industry. La letter E. Letter E. No, es business bank. Business bank. Business Bank. Ok, ok, ok. ¿Dónde está? Yes, esa era. We no, no. distribute so bad. Es que no tendría que ser Business Bank. We do... Ahí tendría que ser, uh, tendríamos que colocar otra palabra. Ok. Tendría que ser at Business Park. We pero en esa en esa business park, business bank, the finance industry. We ahí no tendría que ser distribuido. No podemos, no somos distribuidores de banco. No, no lo somos. Pero sería un verbo Ajá. como... Sí. Uh, como otorgar, prestar.
industry. Uh -huh. Growing industry. We are in the Saudis industry. Industry. Okay. This is fun. We offer como opciones financieras o algo así como we Porque yo, yo puse, ¿verdad? Yo eh, paquetes a... de turismo a precios accesibles. Pero yo le agregué a precios accesibles, pero no. Bueno, usted escríbalo muy como usted lo... Sí, porque ¿Ahorita? como, como se, se estaría diciendo de la diversión de viajar, va. Ajá, porque es disfrutar y viajar. Entonces Ajá. nosotros ofrecemos paquetes de turismo a precios accesibles. Pero no sé si el precio es accesible, se lo podemos agregar o no. Ahí, ahí no les acabo de mandar al chat que dice, we offer tourist packages. Eso, eso sería, ah, sí, ya lo había escrito. Ah, we offer, ah, solo tourist, te falta. Tourist. Ya, ahorita lo pongo. Tourist packages, a ver cómo se dice. Entonces dice, viajes, no, eh, diversión y viaje. Nosotros ofrecemos paquetes turísticos. ¿Cuál era lo otro eh, tenía que había dicho? A precios accesibles, pero con una agregación, pero no sé si sonaría bien, no sé qué dicen ustedes. Eh... No sé, Jessica, Gilberto. ¿Mande? Podríamos agregar a precios accesibles, ¿no? Sí, sí. Sí, porque eso sería como un plus para las personas que viajan. <risa> Ajá. O así como en el ejemplo le podemos poner We are tourist industry, que es el literal I. Solo le agregamos el, el, un, el ejemplo que we are in the Ready to come back.
Okay, now that we are here again, um, I'm going to check the attendance first and then we continue, right? Okay. Me enciende en la cámara, por favor. Gracias. Alfredo Rigoberto. Listen. ¿Es Alcántara o Alcántara? Alcántara. Ok, es que yo todo este tiempo le he estado diciendo Alcántara porque así me aparece en el listado. Pero, Pero ya, ya Alcántara. retorné. Ah, okay. <ríe> ok. Y me disculpo que no pude estar ahorita en el último grupo que tuvo una llamada de trabajo un poco extensa. Ok. Alma Brendalí. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Humaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Present. Santos. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. Sure. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Present teacher. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Y Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Ok. Thank you very much. And now we are going to continue with the exercise. Okay, guys, I would like to have, for example, the answers for fix and care. What options do you have? Si pueden escribir aquí en la pizarra, alguno de ustedes escriban the answer, please, ahí en, 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 en the space. Fix and care. También está Enjoy and Travel, Business and Bank, Business Bank y también The Sun Resort. If you can do it, pónganme lo que ustedes hayan trabajado ahí, please. Can you? Okay, ahí está Elsa. Good.
¿No tienen el, la tool de texto? Pueden agarrar la tool de texto donde está la letra T para que escriban exactamente. That's what I meant. Very good. Fix and care. We distribute product, the beauty and personal care. Mm, we distribute the beauty and personal care product. Products. Pero nos hace falta la segunda parte, right? Los demás pueden escribir en las demás ya de una sola vez. Solo que en Fix and Care me hace falta la segunda oración, right? Diciendo hacia qué industria pertenece, right? Es que a mí solo el lapicito me sale para escribir a mano. Mm -hmm. Se la puedo leer si quiere. Ok, I, I, we can get the idea, pero también es para que vayamos utilizando los, los, los recursos que tenemos ahí. A su mano izquierda, cuando se le da el lápiz, no se le habilita otra toolbar. Solo una de un check, de borrador, color. Hacer y deshacer o un basurerito. Ah, más, a, más, más arriba o quizás más arriba del check está un lápiz y de arriba está una letra T. Estoy en el teléfono. Uh. Ah, ok. Ok, that is a problem. Uh. Ok, we have the second part of the fix and care. It says we... We are, we are in the beauty and personal care industry. Okay, good. In here we are going to, we can omit this and we can say, we distribute Beauty and personal care products. Right? What about enjoy and travel? Nadie ha escrito nada tampoco en Business Bank, ni tampoco nada en The Sun Resort. Nadie ha escrito nada. Okay, so Business Bank. We offer personal loans at lotus rates. At Business Bank, we offer financial services. Financial services. We are in the finance industry. Okay, so that is for business bank. What about enjoying travel or the resort, the sun resort? Enjoy, <coughs> sorry, enjoying travel. We offer tourist packages at affordable price. Mm. So lo dice the tourist industry. So como ya dentro de una oración, we are going to say we are in the 
in the, the tourist, tourism industry. Entonces solamente queda la última, right? The Sun Resort. Pueden hacerla más abajo. Ok, nadie más ha escrito sobre la última, right? ¿Será que alguien lo está escribiendo o lo dejamos y después lo vamos a ir terminando, ok? Because we need to move on to the next uh, and the last exercise that we have for today's class. Let me see, I want to read the... Harvest industry, okay, Kenya. Okay, now let us move on on the next exercise because in the next exercise you are going to apply. ¿Se recuerdan que iban a hacer las suyas propias al final de esto? Bueno, let us see and we are going to do it with this. This is the last. This is the last exercise for today. You are going to prepare a conversation. You need to converse with your classmates. And of course, you now what you have to include is that in the previous conversation, you didn't include the uh, industrial type that they were, right? You only included the headquarter and the branches, but you never include this. And in the conversation, right, that you are going to, to write, because now you have practice with your classmates, but now first, the first question that we are going to answer is, hey, where do you work? Where do you work? And later, you are going to have the complete conversation, but you need to include the industry type. But before, before moving, I want you to type here, where do you work? I want you to write down the place where you work. Escribanlo, por favor para que todos podamos ver the different places where you are working with the classmates. Let us do it in this moment, please. No todos pueden utilizar la caja de texto, ¿verdad? I think that when you are from your cell phone, es que les da las uh, más limitadas, las, las, la ¿cómo opciones. se llama? Las opciones de la toolbar. Así es. Okay? It is very limited. So it is much better being with uh, uh, your um, computer. Avis, Avis, what is, where, where is that? I do work is soup. Ok, veamos si maneja mejor. Dejemos aquí y les voy a, a incluir una whiteboard. Vamos a ver si la whiteboard trabaja mejor. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh 
¿Dónde está la whiteboard? Aquí está. Ya casi terminamos, ¿ok? Ya lo más difícil ya lo pasamos. Wait a minute. ¿Ok? Es que ya estamos ahí falling asleep. <ríe> ya se siente, right? Ok, chicos. Aquí, de igual forma, en the whiteboard, tienen las toolbars. Pero no sé si este les sale mejor utilizar acá, porque es como más cortita. Agarren la cajita de texto o agarren un post-it and write down the name of your company. Se les hace más fácil, ¿verdad, acá? Ok. Yes, Avicola. I work at, let's say, or yes, Avicola Salazar, or work, work at ING. <clears throat> I work in the construction industry. Ok. Pero, ¿dónde trabaja? <clears throat> You work in the construction industry, pero todavía no ha escrito a dónde trabaja, right? Ahorita lo detalle. Ahorita, ahorita. Avicola Salazar. I work in Curtis Industrial. Industrial. ONG. Catholic. I work at, you can say, I work at Monflo Ingenieros. Monflo, what does it mean, Monflo? Eh, palabra compuesta de dos apellidos. Ajá. Ajá, una palabra compuesta de Monteflores. Ah, ok, ok. Monflo Ingenieros. Ok. Ok. Es at, ¿verdad? Work at. At. I work at. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I work at in engineering at Catholic Relief Services. Sicrom del Salvador. What is Sicrom? Del Salvador. What does Sicrom do? Who works at Sicrom? Who works at Sicrom? Because I don't have any idea. Sicrom. In which type industry? Do you classify Sicrom? Hi, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. Eric. Um, what type of industry? No sé cómo cómo decirle que cómo se dice distribuidor de materia prima. To distribute raw. Raw material. Raw material. That is materia prima. Raw material. Pero de qué? Eh, es amplia. Es eh, para construcción. Ah, okay. Adhesivo. Plástico. Para pinturas. So it is for construction, right? That yes. is what we have. Uh -huh. Sí, porque solo el nombre no me da no idea. How can I understand Sicram? Okay. I work at Avicola Salazar at Industry the Preparation of Food. Mm. 
¿En qué industria entra entonces? Lo de la comida. ¿Cuál industria sería? Uh -huh. It has to be ¿En qué? Si está relacionado a comida. Food. Okay. It has to be like food industry. And then we are going to classify it like pets uh, food industry, right? Because we can classify it. It is food in general, but we can say that it is for pets. So we say pet food industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Textile industry, very good. ¿Se fijan cómo entonces hemos hecho la relación del trabajo que ustedes hacen y la empresa en qué rubro está trabajando? Ok, good. Ok, guys, thank you for participating. Funcionó más aquí. El hecho que colaboraran, ¿verdad? En la escritura. I think it is much better doing it here. Okie dokie. So we have finished and since the attendance is for two times and I forgot to do it earlier. Anyway, I'm going to do it fast in this moment. Um, Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Para ver si todavía están ahí. Wilfredo Renderos León. Valeria Michelle Monge. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera. Hernández. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. ¿Será que ya se durmieron todos? Osvaldo Vladimir Caray Pineda. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present teacher. Maximiliano Danay Flores. Present teacher. Mateo de Jesús Torres. María René Jovel. Lucía Verónica Nerio. Sí. Kevin Alexis Escobar. Present, teacher. Kenia Estefany Fuentes Reyes. Present. Kenia Lizeth Barrera. Present, teacher. Carlina Loreni Navarro. Present. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. No, yes, ya se me durmieron todos. <laughs> Jessica Carolina Rodríguez. Present. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora. Present. Present. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Alma Brenda Lee Nieto. Y Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántara. Present. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your great effort. And good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. God bless you. So do you. Good night.